Dude, you were so drunk last night at the party. No, I wasn't. Oh yeah, you called a taxi to take you home. So I don't want to get a ticket for being drunk and driving. The party was at your house. Oh no. At first I was like, this is a responsible drunk. Like how do I even get mad or sassy at that? Bruh, you are home. The taxi would have came in, but you would have given them the address and they would have been like, but I'm at that address. I love you so much, sweetie. Tina says hi. We're at the Ovi Garden. Two for one Chardonnay. Oh, mom. Drink some water, mom. I'm so happy I decided to keep you. <laughs> Me too. Thanks, mom. You're freaking drunk at Olive Garden with your girlfriends having freaking Chardonnay and then the truth comes out, you almost got rid of me. Mom, I love drunk moms though. They can be a blast. I've never seen my mom drunk. She doesn't really drink. She's never really drank my whole life. She didn't drink a sip of alcohol my entire life until recently. Once in a while, we can get her to have like a glass of wine at Christmas or something like that. My mission in life is to get my mom drunk. Haha, <laughs> you were so drunk last night. What? No, I wasn't. Dude, you ran up to this huge biker guy with a beard and shouted, Hey, Grid, you're real. Oh, snap. What did he do? Hugged you. <laughs> ah, that explains the faint scent of smoke on my jacket. <laughs> that could have gone one or two ways. He could have hugged you and thought it was funny, or he really could have got pissed at you because calling someone Hagrid is not really a compliment if we're being honest. Although I loved Hagrid. Hagrid was like one of the best characters in Harry Potter. He was just this cuddly old hairy man. You know when you get a text the next day being like, you were so drunk last night. You're just like, ooh, damn it. What is going on everyone? Welcome or welcome back. I am Sassy and we're gonna be checking out some drunk texts that brought instant regret. Have you been there? I've been there. I don't really think I have anything too bad to be honest. Never really drunk texted an ex, never really sent anything too embarrassing, but I've definitely had some uh, drunk nights with things that I regret. So, dude, I got a DUI. I was arrested last night. Oh my God. I know, buddy, I was there. What the F happened? Well, you kept on insisting you weren't drunk. Then you asked the cop if you could use his in-car computer to update your Facebook. No way you were getting out of the DUI. No way. Honestly, I don't think you would have got out of the DUI regardless once they found out what your levels were. But asking to use their computer to update your Facebook status? Yes, because that's, that's a priority. Absolutely, go ahead, use the computer. Computer. Just log into Facebook. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God, someone put nice police man as in like nice policeman. Hello, Marty. You gave me your number in your intoxicated state last night. I'm feeling you won't remember me. We took you home in our police car. You assured us several times that you weren't a terrorist and requested we don't send you back to Ireland. When you drink, please stay safe and don't drink yourself into that state. Hope you're not too hungover. Stay safe. Do policemen really be texting people the next day? Being like, yo, gave you a lift home. Stay safe out there, my friends. Cause I could get on board with this. I actually, here's a story for you. I actually got driven home in a cop car one time. Not because I was arrested, okay? Me and my friends were drunk downtown and my friend, I won't say names, just in case. But my girlfriend, her mom worked for the police and her mom's friend was there and was like, oh honey, how are you, blah, blah, blah. And we were saying how we were just, you know, we were gonna go home, we were waiting for a cab or something, or we we're gonna call a cab. And she was like, you know what girls, I would feel better if I took you home. So one of us had to sit in the back. So I was like, can I sit in the back seat? So I did and she literally let me take like selfies and stuff. And then I started sending it to people being like, guys, I got arrested. And anyways, hey, can you, Kick me up. I'm too drunk. Oh, you don't have to anymore. I'm home now. Yes, I was aware of that after dropping you off at home. Oh my god. You asked a friend to pick you up. They pick you up. They drive you home. They're like, never mind. I got home. <laughs> it's like, yeah. By me. By me. Where's my thank you? Oh, that's gold. Last night I was so drunk. I drunk replied to my own text. Are you in town? Nah, mate. I'm home now. 427. You really were having a night. I have been drunk, but I have never replied to my own text. Definitely sent a text to the wrong person because I'm like drunk, I can't text. But not, I've never replied to myself. That's a new one. I've definitely had my phone in my hand and been like, where's my phone guys? I lost it, I left it in the bar. And it's like, girl, it's in your hand. Definitely done that. Luke, I've lost my phone. Oh, here we go. Y'all, is this not what I was just talking about? I'm freaking psychic. I had like a that's so raven moment. Phew. 
Babe, I can't find it anywhere. I literally had it a second ago. Now it's gone. What are you doing right now? Texting you? I'm dating an idiot. Hey! Or it's like a hey, or it's a hey. Like, don't call me an idiot, but it's like, girl, he's trying to tell you that you're using your phone to talk to him. You have your phone. You didn't lose your phone. That's a cute moment. Hashtag dating an idiot. I bet my boyfriend could say that. Apparently I tried to log into my online banking when I was drunk. Oh no. So then they kept sending them authorization codes and then they replied, your puzzles don't scare me, riddle master. Were you sitting there like, being like, what does this mean? Like trying to figure this out and decipher it. Oh no, you totally 90% confident that you got locked out of your banking because of the amount of logins you kept trying and you weren't successful. They definitely locked you out. Tell me they didn't. For sure. And they should because I would be like someone's trying to get into this bank account who should not be. Remind me never to go on carousel when I'm drunk and high ever again. Can I get it? But bye. The sound is the ding ding, right? Oh my God. Yes, still available. Someone is selling a $5 triangle, like the ding, and you're drunk and you're literally, the sound is the ding ding, right? <laughs> oh, that's like one of the best things I've heard today. Oh, that's so great. The sound is the ding ding, right? <laughs> Oh man, what possessed you to want to buy that? I was trying to drunk text my girlfriend last night, but send it to my boss. Ooh. I love you so much, baby. Love you too, doll. Haha, <laughs> sorry, Dean, wrong person. That was for my girlfriend. LOL, good night, Casanova. Copy that. So sorry, haha. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, my friend. Thankful for you. Okay, well, at least you guys have a good friendship because I was a little worried. It could have gone like, if you say I love you so much, maybe like my the boss would be like, <laughs> like uncomfortable. And then they're joking and they wish them happy Thanksgiving, my friend. So they're friends. This could have been worse. Still embarrassing. You're lucky it wasn't like a spicy text being like, you know, can't wait to with you later. You know what I mean? So could have been worse. Got so drunk last night. I thought I was texting my friend for a ride, but I was just texting myself the whole time. Where you're at, where you're at. I'm in the car, I'm in the car. You're not, you're not. Yes, I am here, you're not here. Yes, I'm here, you're not here. I'm in the effing car, I'm in the, what? I yay yay. How are you texting yourself though? Cause wouldn't it just keep showing up as blue the whole time? Or are you using like, oh, you're probably using a friend's phone. You were probably using a friend's phone or something, but it was going to your phone and then your answer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I can't. Y'all need to control your fricking liquor. Drunk thoughts. What if instead of invoking earth, air, fire, and water, we instead evoked all of the elements of the periodic table individually, nerd wicca. Hail spirits of Argon, of the noblest of gases. Join us in our circle and witness our right. <laughs> Lend, us our, Lend us your lack of energy and inability to affect chemical reactions in most circumstances. Rings bell 18 times for atomic number. What on earth is happening here? If anyone even sent this to me when I was drunk, I wouldn't even be able to read that because I could hardly read that sober. This is just a whole bunch of nonsense. I'm surprised you could even spell all of those words when you're drunk. These are not the drunk thoughts I have. When I'm drunk, like the only thought I have is like, I wonder how many chicken nuggets I can fit into my mouth at one time. Like what if I choked? What if I didn't? What if I got a world record from it? You know, like we're on different levels. I don't know if we could party together. All right, well, those are some drunk texts that brought instant regret. I shared my drunk stories, share yours with me down below. But before I get out of here, I'm doing today's sassy shout out and it goes to System Ohms, spelt very uniquely though. They said how her editor just lets some of the cut takes in is priceless. I'm so glad that you enjoy that. Honestly, my editors don't get enough credit. They are incredible. I love what they do. Editing makes the whole video in all honesty. Like I'm honestly just here to have a good time, but I'm really happy to hear you like the bloopers. I think we're going to continue just putting them in at the end. I don't watch my videos, but I do wonder what gets left in there sometimes. And sometimes I'm like, mm, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> I'm getting out of here though, guys. Stay safe out there with those drunk thumbs, you know? Think before you tweet, think before you press send. Stay classy and stay sassy. Bye. All right, we are doing drunk texts. <laughs> what the, f this garbage on my computer's I don't know what this means. Ow, I just bit my freaking lip. Did you guys see that? Ah. Oh. <clears throat> it honestly looks like I'm naked right now. I'm not, because it's almost skin colored, my shirt. I know the device crayon in the box sometimes.
Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.